Uh-huh. <laughs> Millie, make the heat. Go ahead, because I'm going. Yeah, I'm just getting my life together. That's all. I'm ready. Count it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, people. Come on a little closer. Come on. Lean in. See this? This is a vegetable. We're going to eat some of these today. We're going to cook them. Yes, I said cook them. You know what this is? Cooking channel is back. The cooking fiasco is back. So all my fellas out there, if you need to get a second date with your lady, this is vegetables. This is going to get you right. And it's going to take me five or ten minutes. And guess what else? I have a special guest. I've said too much. It's time. It starts right now. You did. Okay, people, as you see, it is your boy, The Session. Thank you for joining me in the kitchen. We're not in the stock market today. Today, we're going to use seven our money and feed our bodies. But I have a fantastic and special guest for you, which will appear right now. Boom. Hey. Okay, cool. So here we have a fantastic and great friend of mine. This is Paloma. Tell the nice people where they can find you at on the gram. On Instagram, I'll drop my name down below. It's Paloma. Yes, and you are vegan, of course, my dear. Yes, I am. And I want you also to know, I'm standing over here on the left because there's a thing on the ceiling right here, and you won't even be able to see my face. I'll be cut off, and it'll look like you're talking to my torso, okay? So, she's going to be here. We're going to make some delicious vegan snacks. Are yep. you excited? I'm super ready. Okay, so there's some keys that you need to know for this amazing dish. A lot of y'all have been asking me, but Sesh, what can I eat that's vegan? Oh my goodness, how I eat meat? You know how I was born, you know? Mexicans, Africans, Asians, we all grew up in, I don't want to hear it. You don't need no meat, it's just vegetables. And it's going to be delectable. And it's going to be incredible. And it's going to take you no effort. It's going to look bougie. I'm going to show you how to make it look nice, you dig? So are you ready to be impressed? I'm ready. All right. So the first thing we do is tell you we're making a corn avocado salad. I used to make this for my clients. It looks bougie and sophisticated. Um, so what you will need is corn. All right, so we have corn. What kind of corn you can get? Sweet, white, yellow, whatever you have. Whatever you have access to in your local market, you dig. I go to Sprouts, so Sprouts, you should put me in a commercial. Um, this is organic sweet corn. We have some organic cherry toma tomatoes. These are heirloom, which means they're GMO free, real sexy, in different shapes. Limes, red onion, avocado. This is not for this dish, don't worry about it. And we have some green onion, okay? These things are going to come together and make a delicious salad. So, we're going to begin. I'm going to have Paloma start washing some of the things and then we'll begin cutting. Are these spicy? Like, did you cut your face? Oh, yeah. Huh? Alright, people, so now. Some of y'all probably like, well, Sash, I've never seen corn like this. What's the green shit on it? This is a husk. I'm going to show you how to take this. You get a, a bag. This is simple. This is a Sprouts bag. Sprouts. Put me in the commercial. Okay. The trash will go in there. Now, this is ideal. Let me show you. This is what we're looking for. You take your husk, right? And what you want to do is not rip it all the way off. I'm putting you on game. Now, this right here, I'm going to show you how to make a charred corn dish, right? This alone, you could serve this to whether you're a female making this for somebody or fellas you're trying to, you know, make something for yourself or for a lady, okay? You take all the beards off them, little hair on my boy, you know what I mean? <laughs> so now, look how we got the little dress on. What you do is you put this directly on the fire, okay? I know some of y'all are like, wow, I don't know why I did. Yeah, this is fire. We're going for a char, so we have to char the corn, you feel me? Now. When this is grilled on all sides, you can serve this just as a dish. Olive oil, salt, pepper, that's a bougie dish. But this is what you're going to do. So Paloma, she's ready with the corn, you know what to do. All right, let's go. We're just going to peel each side, just like he said. As Mexicans, we eat it in like a little cup with, okay. with mayonnaise and like cheese and like tahini and like Cheetos. Yeah, the one that we did for your client. Yeah, what is that called? Elote. Elote, Elote yeah. Elote, yeah. People, yeah, they can. I'm down here, okay? So, what you're going to do is you're going to see that beautiful char. Ooh. You simply rotate. Look at that. You don't need no grill. Thank me later. 
Back to your conversation. Okay. And then you can just get that. And then we'll move on to the next shit. So okay. I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna cut these. But before I do it, look at my rings. Come on out. Come on and zoom out. Let me know when you're ready. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Don't bother me, you can sm cut them smaller if you want. Twice a year, no? I do. Okay, <laughs> so my hands are bigger than yours, so my hands are going to cover the tomatoes. But I'm going to show you a trick that I've already taught you before. When you have to cut a lot of these things, these tomatoes, you're going to not cut them one by one. You're going to hold your mitten down on top of the tomatoes and slice horizontally. Okay, you will now watch as I execute. Okay. Okay. You now have sliced tomato. So here we have our charred corn. As you see, it's beautifully, beautifully charred. See that bougie word? That just means burnt. Okay? So, or charred slightly. Now we're going to take a bowl. This is very key so you don't have kernels of corn and shit going all over your home. You take this bowl in here, you aim down, and look like that. The corn comes off slightly beautifully you do not want to press too hard okay simple be gentle because that's what she said now pan to the right we're there gonna she do is. some tortillas over here so we're just gonna put some light extra virgin olive oil just a little bit that way the tortillas aren't dry we got some mission tortillas these are corn She's tested the heat. Now yeah. that noise is something you need to hear, people. Let the ASMR just soothe into you. Listen to that. That's fun. Yeah, we're gonna let them go just a little longer. You saw probably about 30 to 45 seconds. Oh, <laughs> go ahead. All right, you guys, we're gonna cut this avocado. I actually like to get it when it's like soft but not like too soft and the way I don't know how everyone cuts it but the way I cut it is I usually just go around the seed okay and then I just split it in half just like this and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the one without the seed and I like to do just lines all across And then I'm just going to do some squares like this. And what I like to do is I like to get it with a spoon. I don't have a spoon, but we're just going to empty it in here just like this. Take that out. And then we also have the charred corn and the charred onion all up in here. Session, how do you usually cut it? How do you cut avocado? Let me bend down so you can see my head. <laughs> um, I think everything you just did was spectacular. I think also, um, depending on the size of your hands, is going to depend on like the tool you'll use. I have longer fingers <laughs> as you see, so I, I would use um, a knife like that, a smaller knife. But um, she was able to uh, do it with the knife, scrape it out with the knife. So that's what you're going to do. We're going to fast forward it, and you're going to watch your hands do it. There you go. That's one. 
Do you get some? Okay, so what we have here in the bowl, we have some avocado, some charred corn, and we also have some charred onion. And we're just gonna mix this around a little bit, and then we're also gonna add some tomato and jalapeno in this bowl. Um, I guess we'll just do it a little bit right now. And then we're just gonna add some onion over here, some purple onion. Just toss a little bit in there. Okay. And then just so you guys can see, we have some veggies in here. We're just gonna mix them around a little bit. And we're also gonna add some lime in here so we can get that nice, tasty lime in here. Okay, people, so we're away right now on a business trip, all right? There's some people behind you that you can't see. So right now, we only have this salt and we have this lidless oregano, okay? So there's no excuse from you. We're going to make delicious food, impressive food with this Morton salt, okay? Let's season this up and then we'll mix it up. We're just gonna put that little piece back up in here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this beautiful, delectable salad. Beautiful colors, healthy, healthy ingredients. Everything in here vegan. And the only seasonings we have were salt and this oregano. Okay, so there's no actual excuse. The colors are beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and spoon this into our bowl. I wanna show you what we're gonna eat them with. You take couple of your tortillas, you know, however many you have. So when when he or she comes over, you get what I'm talking about? They're gonna be like, wow, what are these lovely, sophisticated dishes you make? But in reality, very simple. So you come in, this is gonna be something if you wanna serve this to somebody, you're gonna serve it right as they're walking in. You don't wanna have this sitting there. You know what I'm saying? Minutes before, it's gonna be a soggy mess, you dig? So you don't wanna waste your efforts. Boom, we got the beautiful, look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. We eat with our eyes first, don't we? Right. So, what we have here, these are called garnishes. This is what makes it extra bougie. It's going to give that aesthetic, okay? This is micro radish mix. You can get any of these greens at a local market, okay? Boom, and we also have some green pea shoots. So you'll open these beautiful herbs up, see what they look like, okay? You look at these, look at these micro radishes, okay? So. When you get them, you just come down. You just come down. Look, look how, look at the energy we're placing it with. Beautiful, elegant energy, and they're gonna taste delicious and delectable. Okay. So there, we got the finished dish. And could you hand me the olive oil, please? Here you go. And then go ahead and give a little drizzle of the olive oil, and there you have it. You know what I mean? That's the avocado salad. So. There's only one way to find out if this is delicious. It looks delicious, doesn't it? It looks amazing. So now we're gonna do something different. I'm gonna let some beautiful people taste it and they're gonna give you their real life expertise and thoughts and opinions. Okay, here we go. Dive in the ruler, stop bagging the child like you don't like this. <laughs> oh, we got to get real reactions. Oh, shit. Wow, this looks so amazing. Wow. I wish I could smell it. Honestly, so good. Mm. So good. Mm. The tortilla the, has the Boy. perfect crisp. The flavors are there. Ooh. And would you all try this again? Oh, yeah. Mm. Definitely. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, we have a salt. What'd you think of it? It was 
fucking good. Mm. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. I'm cheesed. I'm pleased. It only took, what, five or six ingredients. All we had was salt. I had an amazing guest. The flavors. Make sure wow. y'all check her out on Instagram, too. I know you need to run it up. Run it up. Uh, it's Paloma. I'll put it in the description. Mm -hmm. And we'll pop it up, boom, on the screen. I got to bend down because my, I'm a little tall. I want you to remember, I'm at the Session CA. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. I love you. I'm healthy. I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? Big drip. I love you. I don't have anything else to say. Goodbye.